52 licks for 2020. I mentioned last time we were going to uh, hit some tain. That's what we're going to do this week. Uh, there's a series of licks. There's actually going to be three of them. I keep saying I'm only going to do one lick a week, but they all kind of go together. So I'm going to put them all three together. There are a series of, of groupings of fives that, that, that he uses and some other people use we're going to get into. Not quintuplets, right? Quintuplets are like triplets where there's an odd number of notes that go over an even number of beats. In this case, it's just a five note cycle. You have eighth notes or sixteenth notes. So before we go any further, let's break down those licks. So there's basically three of them. We're going to go over uh, all three of them. The first one I'm going to show you is essentially, um, it's going to be a five note grouping, but there's only four notes. The fifth note is a rest. And uh, it's a pretty simple phrase. It's just flam left, right, left, rest. One, two, three, four. You can add some stuff in there. You can add the bass drum or the hi-hat maybe in the break if you want. There's some cool voicing things you can do with that as well. Uh, getting the cymbals involved. All that will be on the PDF. Uh, the second lick, also a four-note phrase. And it's, a, it's like a backwards uh, paradiddle, if you will. It's right, right, left, right. Most common way that, that, that Tane sticks it is usually... Uh, tom, Tom, Snare, Crash. And the last one is a paradiddle left. So paradiddle left, that gives you the five strokes. It's just we put a flam at the beginning, a left, right flam like this. So th those are the three licks. We're going to talk about how to use them, kind of where they come from, uh, and a bunch of different expansion things that will be available on that PDF. So when Tate was kind of uh, starting to get going with uh, Wynton Marsalis' group, uh, with Branford Marsalis as well, they were kind of launching, um, their launching point was kind of Miles Davis's second quintet, where we Herbie and Ron and Tony and all those guys. Um, and they were dealing with a lot of stuff, uh, metric modulation, doing a lot of cool things with triplets and, uh, you know, phrasing triplets in groups of four and phrasing eighth notes in groups of three and five and that sort of stuff. And uh, that group really kind of took some of that material and, uh, you know, created some, some new fresh material back in the 80s. And, and Tane really kind of latched onto this. Not only did it come from that era, but also Tane's, a, you know, I think was checking out a whole bunch of great fusion drummers back then. Narada Michael Walden and Billy Cobham and some of those guys. And, and that that sound is a lot in their playing. So we really brought kind of this like fusion-ish uh, material, but into a swing setting and did a great job of it. It's kind of cool because it allows you to put in some stuff that, um, that, that cycles in an odd way. We're used to doing that with groupings of three, right? One, two, three, four, da 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 It's basically an extension of that. I think it works best as fives. You can do sevens and nines, but after a while, we kind of lose the, the, the cyclical nature. The shorter that cycle is, the easier it is for our ears to pick it up. Uh, the other thing is that I found them doing a lot of things, Winton, Kenny Kirkland, all of them, where they would take five notes but leave out the last one. So it kind of created a da 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 and that kind of lets you do some little beboppy four note things, but it still can kind of be in a five note cycle. You can hear this stuff on Winton's Black Codes. You can also hear it, Black Codes from the Underground. You can also hear it on uh, a whole bunch of records that have been, even the live at Blues Alley, the same Winton record. But Tane's done this for a, a ton of his career. So that's just kind of early examples that I happen to grab from. So what can you do this with this material? We talked about basically it's a five note cycle and if you eliminate the fourth note, the fifth note and you have a four note cycle, well then there's all sorts of things we can do sticking wise, right? I mean, you could even play a double stroke roll and leave out the last note. One, two, three, four. <laughs> things like that, just a paradiddle. So, and, uh, and then, one of the cool things is once you start getting one of those stickers you're comfortable with, it sounds okay like that, but where it really sounds good is when you start adding like flams, you start you know changing the voicing up. That's a that's that extra layer that keeps it from sounding something like this.
You don't want to be that drummer. Trust me, I was that drummer for a while. Uh, there's nothing slick about that. It's da -da 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 you know, we don't want that. So what is what does Tane do? He voices it around the kit. Maybe he flams with the cymbal. Maybe he gets the bass drum involved. Maybe he puts a you know um, you know can can voice it with a flam around the kit. There's a whole bunch of different things you can do that. So I like starting with a four note cell that you're comfortable with, a sticking you're already comfortable with. Then try voicing it around the kit. Try also adding some flams or some things like that. Uh, maybe even some roughs to kind of um, give it a little extra um, flair, a little extra juice so that when you put it into the music, it's a little masked. If it's too obvious, it, it takes everyone out of the pocket, right? You mask it a little bit, put a little glaze on it, uh, it fits into the, into the pocket better. I'm gonna have a whole bunch of these variations on the PDFs. Um, remember that uh, you, you know I, I charge just a little bit for the PDFs. It helps me produce these and hopefully produce these for, for years to come. Uh, so if you like what you're checking out, uh, consider picking up one of the PDFs. Uh, but you know that's really for extra work. The the lick itself is here for you guys to, to take and, and mess around with as you see fit. Okay, speaking of Herbie, Ron, and Tony, we're going to deal with some Tony Williams next. See you guys next week. Okay, good luck.